Hello everyone, my name is Alfredo and welcome back to the channel in which we like to talk about vintage sunglasses. It's been a while since the last time that I upload a video, but I'm back. <laughs> and today I want to show you a frame that I like very much because it is a frame that I always use when I'm at home. And the frame that I'm going to show you today, it is the one that I'm wearing at this moment. This is a vintage Cartier Moss. A Louis version because you can see at the bridge that it has only like a simple lines in here and as you can see this is a very simple model it doesn't have like many things around the frame and as you can maybe be looking at this moment it is not in maybe 100% conditions but besides that part it is a model that I like very much because as I mentioned before it is very simple and it is also very lightweight so you can use it for many hours and you won't feel the weight of the frame uh, in, in your face and this is a medium size the size of the lenses are 53 millimeters and the size of the temples are 130 millimeters so this one uh, it, it is a very simple frame of Cartier and that is something that, that I like very much about the Cartier models because uh, they are they are very wearable because maybe you can find other brands like the ones that we had mentioned before for example uh, Casal and maybe Casal uh, uh, not many persons are going to use uh, a Casal frame because sometimes they are like very crazy or very big but one thing that I like about Cartier and also from Persol is that uh, they are very wearable for many people so in this case the Cartier Moss it is a perfect frame for people that doesn't want to use like a very big frame and as I mentioned before this frame it is very simple and you can find this model in three versions uh, this one is it is a Louis version because as I mentioned before here in the bridge you can see that you only have these lines in, in gold and also in here and the other two presentations of the Cartier Moss are the Santos version and the Lac version the Santos version it is very simple to identify because uh, they have the screws in this part and also in this section of the frame and the Lac version it is only like a red line in here and also in this section I'm not a very big fan of the Lac version because at least in my case I don't like it very much, but I don't know, maybe you prefer more the Lac version than the Louis version or the Santos version, but that is something a uh, matter of choice. And I will give you a close up of this version so you can see it better. And as I mentioned before, this frame, it is not in the, in 100% conditions. Here I have this part that is like broken or uh, something that happened when I was using this frame, but it, it Besides that, it is a very beautiful frame. I like it very much. And maybe I will consider buying another frame of this one because they are very uh, nice to wear. And maybe I will consider also to have the Santos version because I think that is a very beautiful frame in that presentation. I like also this presentation, but I also love the Santos version. <laughs> and that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and we talk later about more vintage sunglasses. In the meantime, I hope that you're doing well and we see each other in the next episode. So take care and see you.